What's up everyone? My name is Sal Sankata. We are here in Iceland today and we have got a little challenge. So you got to vote below. You got to tell me which one you like, which is your favorite, but it's this constant battle, right? Light and airy versus dark and dramatic. Of course, I'm known for dark and dramatic portraits, uh, but I'm going to take that light and airy challenge. We'll see which one I do uh, better, my natural style, or which one I even like better, my natural style or uh, that light and airy look. But again, we are here in Iceland, super cold. That's why I got the skull cap on. Um, my wife is going to be modeling for me and we're going to use a uh, Profoto A2 for the light on camera. I'm using the same lens, uh, 7200 Canon R5, and we are going to shoot the same scene two different ways. So I got uh, two different scenes, but each scene will be shot both with off-camera flash and without to give it a light and airy look. Let's get to it. Let's see which one you like better. All right, so let's start here in the tree path. Where's that wind coming from? It's coming this way. So I want you, my thought is to have you, I want something very kind of, we'll, we'll go no flash first. I want something very light and ethereal. So what I want you doing is you're gonna be here uh, and you're maybe holding your dress, but you're looking down to your right. Yeah, but I don't wanna see, see that leg. That's not what I want. Maybe you're not even holding your dress. Yeah, that looks much better. But let's send you further back, Alyssa. Stop right there. Yep, you're gonna be facing me here. Uh, bump out of the tree line, right about there. Let's, uh, let me just, don't take off your jacket. I know it's cold. Let's, uh, let's just see what this is looking like. All right, so the first one I'm gonna shoot, no, uh, no flash on camera. Uh, let's expose this correctly. Just read out my settings to you guys. I'm at ISO 200, F2.8. Uh, here we go. Can someone run and get me a memory card? All right, so we had a little problem. Uh, you know, you gotta put a memory card in your camera. That, that's usually, it's usually step one to taking a picture. All right, so let's get back to it. Okay, uh, Alyssa, let's get, um, let's get that jacket off, Brandy Helper. So just understanding what I'm seeing in this scene, like I love the layers. So we've got the tree in the foreground, we've got depth behind her, we've got, uh, you know, wind is blowing in that direction. So, uh, you know, you see this kind of like, curving lines. I really like the way this is looking. So we're going to, uh, we're going to work with this. You know, listen, don't get too wide with your stance. I love, I love the way you're standing right now. Everything looks beautiful. Keep uh, your thighs together and then just give me a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of that. You look beautiful. Arch that back more. All right, here we go. Stunning chin left just a little bit more. Eyes up higher, right there, stunning. One, two, stay there with it. Looking right at camera. Stay there, looking away again. Stunning, okay? Hold on, let me, get, let me stay with it. So sorry. Right at camera. Beautiful. Looking down to your right. Mm, up, eyes up, up higher. Okay. So I got some great stuff here. You're gonna see that on camera. Uh, that was with uh, no flash. So now we're gonna make this same scene dark and dramatic. We got light and airy. I'm not gonna lie, the light and airy look pretty look pretty fucking good. Um, all right, so let's go. Now, uh, we got the A2. I'm in aperture priority. Uh, and what I'm going to do is underexpose on camera by one stop. And we'll just take this picture. Not yet. Uh, taking a picture. And we are underexposed by two stops, uh, actually. And what I'm, the reason I'm doing that is to get the... Uh, you're going to see that on your screen. It's to just get everything... Uh, darken. Now we need light to illuminate her. Okay. So I'm going to bring this up here. All right. We'll start at a power of eight. Nice, 
<laughs> it is not, yeah, you know, it's pretty, pretty warm in St. Louis right now. All right, so I'm gonna have to put this light here. Is that right at your eyes? Or do I need to tilt it up a little bit? Tilt up? Yeah, you feel like that's gonna hit you? I don't want light spill on the ground. Good. All right, so let's get a test shot. Test one, two. Oh, that first shot looks really freaking good. Oh, how am I ever gonna choose? All right, so I'm bumping this to a full 10. Um, it was hitting a little bit of the uh, tree branch on you. Does that seem like it's getting you now? Okay. You know, your light placement matters. You gotta put that in the right place. All right, let me get one more test shot of you. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm not liking, guys. I'm getting, and you're gonna see this. Let's put the jacket on, Alyssa. What I'm getting is a shit ton of light spill from that light on the tree branches. Now, in post-production, I can typically uh, remove that with a composite. That may be what has to happen here. There's not many ways. I don't have a snoot with me or anything else like that, but I'm just getting a lot of light spill on that uh, branch. So let me let me try one more time to move it, but you know, our talent is freezing. And uh, so I'm gonna adjust this back to eight, and I'm just getting a ton of light spill over there. So I can maybe pull it out here, but I still think we're gonna get some spill without a modifier. Uh, of some sort on that. Oh, I have a grid. Stand by. Pull this. Got it? Sometimes you have a eureka moment. All right. There we go. So now we got that grid on there. That should control the light spill. Get a test shot one more time. Hang on to that. Okay. There we go. Damn, I love when they make shit that works right. All right. So now, of course, I've got to edit the light stand out in post-production. That's pretty, pretty standard when you're taking a wider shot and there's uh, either a human light stand or an actual light stand in there. All right, we ready? Yeah, I love that arch. Yep, everything looks great. Body looks beautiful. Chin down just a little bit more. Love that. Eyes at me, peeking at me. Here we go, one, two. Absolutely stunning. Stay there, one, two. One, two. One more, one, two. I'm gonna change my angle just a little bit. Here we go, one, two. One, two. Looking at the light. This looks sunny, looking at the light. Okay. You can kinda see. That's with the flash. And then here's some of the light in the area. It's gonna be tough. All right. <laughs> All right, so that's one scene down, okay? Now, I got one more scene over here. All right, let's go. Now, while we're walking over there, guys, uh, I want you to, this is a uh, nano stand uh, by Manfrotto, super portable. Uh, lightweight, fits in your suitcase. Um, and then of course, we've got the uh, Profoto A2 uh, with a uh, grid on it, right? So this is a uh, 20 degree grid. And you're gonna see those pictures on screen. Without the grid, there's light spill everywhere. We get the grid, it's now uh, under control. So that that's really nice. And it's allowing us to be really, really mobile uh, with this. So scene number one, I was just kind of using this tree path. Uh, remember, vote below, which is your favorite from this scene, uh, light and airy or uh, dark dramatic. And then now there's a path over here 
and uh, I'm gonna put her on that path. I got some rocks behind her, and I want something, again, a little bit more ethereal in the light and airy, and we'll, we'll go from there. All right. So, Alyssa. Alyssa, my line is gonna be this way. So can you scoot this way more? I don't know where you can step. Right there is perfect. Um, I want you facing away. And look at me well, before you do that. I want, obviously give me a setup with your legs and I want your profile, right? So I want you kind of looking off to your left or off in the distance to your left as well. Something to that effect. Yeah, I think so. But you gotta open your body a little more. So it's really soft up there. Is that right? Big in the, big in the back? Yep. Uh, maybe that left hand is lightly holding the dress. Something about the pose just doesn't look right. Um, you're too, what's happening is, is that because of however you're standing, you're just getting super boxy from the waist down. Like I don't see any cur there we go, there we go, stunning. Okay, so now, where are you looking though? Ooh, I like that, that is beautiful. I love that, yeah, verse. No, no, that way, yep. Uh, Brandy, pull, no, no, that looks, that looks really good. Let me see you looking away again, do the hands again. Yep, right there, chin more right, more right. Right there, Alyssa, absolutely beautiful. You know, sometimes you just gotta work out the pose. Stay there. All right, we're gonna start off light and airy. I'm gonna shoot it a couple of different ways. Now I gotta adjust my exposure. Still a two, uh, two eight, ISO 200. There we go, one, two. Uh, Brandy, bump right just a little bit more to my right. There you go. One, two. I'm just really using this tree to mess with composition. That's all. Make it a little bit more interesting in the final shot. Beautiful. Chin more left. Chin down. Um, I'm, that right arm is making your midsection look big. I like that, I like that, but I don't want to see that palm, and I don't want to get in too far behind your head. No, 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 I hate that pose. Okay, okay, right there, just separate it from your waist. Chin out and down, stunning. Stay there, now I'm just getting away from this tree altogether. It's kind of compressing that background. Looking at me, chin down, twist your shoulders to me a little bit more. Yep, love that. Let your head tilt this way just a dinch. Chin down just a dinch. Love that. What if you're looking down that way? Can you pull it off? Chin down, down, down. Yes, beautiful. Love that, Alyssa. Separate that right arm. I do not. Eyes up, Alyssa. A right hand is just wonky. Twist to me, mate. Oh, there we go, Alyssa. That is killer. Looking, drop the right hand just a little under, right there. There you go. That is killer. Eyes at me. Chin at me. Yes, stay there. Love that, baby. Beautiful. Stay there. Let me get this one. Hey, just calm down. Looking back behind you again. Eyes forward again. Forward uh, down the hill. Right there, stunning. Lift that, separate that right elbow from the body, yes. Okay, so now we're gonna use flash. Same shot, same kind of scene. Now I will tell you, you know, for light and airy, or just natural light in general, available light, uh, you're able to move a lot quicker, right? As soon as you introduce strobe, things slow down, everything slows down. 
uh, the way you're shooting, where they can look starts becoming limited, right? Notice I had her looking at camera, away from camera, you know, to her left, to her right. Well, there's no strobe there, right? But the minute I put strobe there, she's got one place she's got to look. And we just have to be conscious of that. So it's a different shot. Uh, but I'm going to put this light in front of her. Uh, we're going to fire it into her with this uh, grid again to control that light. Because uh, I hate light spill, man, when it's all over the ground. It's just really, it drives me nuts. It's amateur hour. Like you really have to control uh, your light source. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. So, all right, Ellie, you're up. These look killer. Looking back towards camera, chin down. Let the top of your head tilt to the right. Brandy, if you can crescent that light towards me, just tilt it out towards her face. Tilt your head towards the light. Chin down just a dinch. Right there, beautiful. Beautiful. And last one, beautiful. Woo! Man, oh man, do we have some decisions to make. All right, guys, you be the judge of it. Light and airy, dark dramatic. Which one did you like in the first series? Which one did you like best on the second series? Let me know below, super curious. And if you want more educational content like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Give me a little shout out below in the comments. Like the video if you're loving it, and we'll see you on the next video.